Have you got? Don't be so nervous, kid. They'll show. Yeah, sure, I know. Just wanted to know what time it is. I'll tell you what. You get yourself a nice watch with your cut. Huh? Come on. It's 8.30. In five minutes, it'll be 8.35. Get down there and let me know when you see them coming. Take you, Gil. Too much, babe. Business with me knows where I'm coming from. Let's get it on. All right, big man. Who's holding your rent? The lady. What are you looking at him for? I'm telling you what to do. Yeah, go ahead, Gloria. Check it out. All right, let's see what you got. Nice day, huh? It's ten grand short here, boss. One of my people didn't come through. I'm good for it. What the hell are you trying to take me on? I told you I'm on for you tonight. Who the hell is that, you young punk? Watch it, you! Duty cop foils drug deal. We love it. Well, we're taxpayers, aren't we? So, what, you didn't know you were uh, jumping into a drug bus? What well, can I tell you? I've been in the job 22 years, almost uh, 23. So, uh, how many shootouts you been involved in lately? Huh? It's the first time I've ever shot anyone. Yeah, well, uh, fine. You messed to jump into this time, didn't you? And here's a guy working for us even when we're not paying him to. It's nice to feel we're getting something for nothing. So, well, you didn't have any idea there's a drug deal going on here? No. I heard shots. I ran out of the restaurant to see what the hell was going on. And when you came out the restaurant, you couldn't see who was shooting who, huh? I think I emptied my gun. I'm not sure I hit anyone. It all happened so quick. Excuse me. That's the public angle on it. To the cops, it looks different. Department regulations require that a police officer have his firearm with him 24 hours a day. There's no such thing as an off-duty cop. Good job. Hey, Dave. What the hell happened? A bunch of people got shot. Yeah, drug deal. It was supposed to be. Looks like someone declared war. Yeah, well, I don't see nobody standing, Jambone. Looks to me like somebody declared peace. You got any ideas, Kitty? Yeah. Why don't you ask your pal? Jack? Jack Marin? What the hell are you doing in the middle of this? How you coming? All right, says the mayor's willing to stand. If I had a guess, 
Who'd be in the middle of a big drug thing like this? I couldn't guess Jack. Well, you don't have to be an all-star to get caught in the middle, Colby. That's right, but when things happen, this guy's got lots of practice being somewhere else. One shot, then there were two others. No, I didn't, I didn't have time to think, so I ran back through the kitchen. You were eating alone? Yeah. Yeah, I was eating alone. Story of my life. So you came out the kitchen door? Right. You want to pick it up there? Well, this is where I have a little bit of uh, trouble. There were three of them, I think. I'm not sure. There might have been more. Uh, they're about 15 yards ahead of me. One of them, I think, was already on the ground. Now, I couldn't see where they were shooting, so I, um, I ran down toward them. You identified yourself? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't know what the hell I had here. Then one of them shot at me, so I shot back. Now, they were mostly shooting one another, but I think I might have, I might have hit one. I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. You'll get a copy of the unusual. And you know ballistics will have to take a test on your weapon tonight. Officer Nern, you did a commendable job. Well, I don't know what I did, but uh, I know I was scared to death. I have everything I need for now, Officer Aaron. You did do a hell of a job. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Hey, it took a lot of guts to do what you did, Jack. No way, Jack. Now you can take those off and take it from now. Get the door, there's a draft in here. Okay, fine. Fine. Treat you good in the hospital, huh? your case, Jefferson. Cooperative, anyway. Always, always. Thanks for the ride. Is this where you come to file a complaint? We do the complaining around here, wise guy. This and I was out with a few friends. We got jumped, we got mugged. For the $40,000 in your pocketbook? Guess he ain't got no credit cards. Say we quit playing the who me stuff, okay, Raymond? Because I got you dead to rights on a drug deal, and these boys are about to bust you for multiple homicides. The cop caused the homicides. I don't know what drug deal you're talking about. Nobody found drugs on me. Yeah, well, the junk's with the girl. The question is, where's the girl? That's what my mother keeps asking me. I ain't got a girl. She's starting to think I'm funny. Don't worry about it, Jack. Come on. You handled the guys with the guns. You gotta go out and hand a couple of interviews. Jack, you gonna be all right? I'll be all right. I'm just gonna go downstairs. My uh, my sergeant wants me to tell him all about it. <sighs> what a sweet guy. You know, I never thought I'd live to see the day when one cop called another cop a sweet guy. Well, he is. Yeah, he is. That's kind of sweet. Well, why don't you people find something to do? Carson. What's the status on that robbery suspect that was shot? Gil Flowers, Lieutenant. He's still in surgery. Your doctor says he'll be in surgery for a couple more hours. We won't be able to talk to him until tomorrow. The minute he opens his eyes, I want him questioned. Yes, sir. So what's this about a girl? Well, what's your pal didn't mention her, huh? What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I might want to hear this, too. Uh, if you don't mind, Jefferson, I'm going to close my own door. All right, what do you got? I just want to find out what you guys know about tonight's hero. Why? Just seemed kind of funny. Guy shows up, junk disappears. Want to know how well y'all know him, is y'all? Enough to know that junk is not his thing. I mean, this this guy's been a cop for 20 years, 20 years or more. And he spent the last 12 of them right here. So? No. No, no way. Quiet man, quiet life. There's not a beef against this guy. 
Yeah, well, Jack Nair shows up on the scene and five guys are stretched out on the pavement before me and my boys get there. Okay, so maybe he's a super cop. But what I want to know is, what the hell is this? What the hell are you trying to take me on? I told you, I'll, ha I'll have it for you tonight. Who the hell is that, you young punk? What you do? That's a girl's voice, gentlemen. After your so-called quiet guy here will get the scene, and he didn't ever say nothing to nobody about no girl. Internal affairs know about this? Nah. Uh -uh. Nah, I don't want to give a guy up unless I got a damn good reason. So you tell me, Lieutenant. Do I got a reason? to be a big part of my life lately, aren't you? Oh. I bet you were trying to protect me. <laughs> Give us a minute, will you love her? Not mine. It's Judy's. She's gonna be real mad. Where is it? Where's what? This is not all of it. God, I hope not. <laughs> Would you like me to? Yeah. Sit down somewhere, Jack. What's this all about? Was there a girl in the alley last night, Jack? Was in the alley last night? No, I didn't see one. She was there. Well, then she left. She didn't. Kevin, I thought we went through all this. This is the way it's gonna be, huh, Kevin? Am I supposed to have a lawyer here? Oh, you think you need one? What kind of question is that to ask a friend? Jack, was she there? If she's on the tape, she was there, but I didn't see her. Now, if that's not good enough for you, then... then it's your move. What the hell can I say? 
Well, I had to ask you. That's all. Okay, Jack. Thanks. You know, Kevin, it stinks. The kind of work they make you do on this job, man, it stinks. Well, I got that part right. Give us like five minutes, counselor. I think you have a problem. That's why I got a lawyer. You don't need a lawyer, Raymond. You need a magician. Hey, listen, Clarence Darrow. They don't got no stuff. How can they nail me with dealing it if they don't got none? Let me explain it to you in uh, terms you'll understand. What they found, instead of narcotics, was a rather upsetting number of dead people. And homicide, you uh, may or may not know, is an even less pleasant charge to face than narcotics trafficking. Whose side are you on? The side of truth and justice, Mr. Raymond. In your case, I'd consider a plea. What the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> it's called ballistics. Yeah, they find out what bullet came out of what gun, went into what person. They all had guns. And they're all dead, and that leaves you. So you think they got me? <laughs> I wouldn't bet against it. That cop, the one that nailed me, came out of the restaurant. Officer Jack Naren. Whatever. He cut the broad loose. Which is another way of saying you're here and she's not. Is there some reason that's of interest? Listen to what I'm saying, genius. He let her go. Why the hell would he do that? I don't know, and I don't care. All I know is that cop is dirty. Oh, Jack. Hey, you got a minute? What the hell are you doing here, Tommy? Well, I was looking for you. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, I'm not kidding. Hey, there's a frosted in there somewhere, and you can find it. Oh, oh great, thanks. Listen, I, uh, I called the station. They said they'd clocked out. Somebody said I'd meet you down here. Hey, you're not kidding, are you? No. Do I look like the kind of guy who'd kid about a major story? There's no story, Tommy. Look, it's not all that complicated. People would be interested. No, I'm not interested. You know, forget it. Okay, just thought. No, no, no. I don't want to be put under a microscope, you understand? Okay, don't get excited. That was just the wrong idea. It was the wrong idea. Let's get the hell out of here. Of course I remember him. He's the one who used to draw those funny posters. What posters? Uh, every couple of months, they used to need a, an excuse to have a party or something, and they used to get Jack to draw the posters. He was actually pretty good, honey. Well, he wanted to uh, be a cartoonist. What kind of parties? Parties, parties. parties. Uniforms, detectives. We take over a bowling alley. We go to a restaurant. You know, yeah, restaurant. yeah. And he used to bring in ladies. And ladies. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, so there are other times when we didn't even know about it. How come we didn't tell about this? Why don't we have parties like this? Parties? Huh? Who's having a party? Oh, we're just trying to start one here, right? Yeah, you got a hat. <clears throat> Listen, I just saw your friend uh, Jack. What the hell's the matter with him? I don't know. You tell me. Well, I wanted to do a piece on him. You know, every man is a hero. Just about told me to go to hell. I guess he read one of your columns. Well, there's got to be more to it than that. Everybody is in a publicity sponge like these two, Tommy. No dice. I haven't even asked a question yet. I know what the question is. Have we question the dude at the hospital? You haven't? Between his doctors and his lawyers, we're getting a world-class runaround. He's had anesthesia. He's had surgery. He's out of recovery, but his lawyer still got to give him a refresher course on his rights before we can get a crack at him. Oh, it's flowers. What about Raymond? Oh, he has his rights down cold, baby. Yo. Got it? Hot off the press. Great. Now, 
never seen a ballistics report like this. It reads like the history of the Second World War. Have you looked at it? Mm -hmm. Give me the bottom line. Okay. Uh, Jack put the slug in Gil Flower's gut. Mm -hmm. Rest of his shots went wild. That's a help. What about the bad guys? Well, everybody was shooting at everybody. Four guns, five bad guys. We did get some clear prints, though. Well? All of the dead guys. Damn. Raymond will swear he was a bystander, and Flowers will swear he was a bystander. And I'll be left with a great case against the dead guys. At least there was a cop there. That ought to help. Girls, 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 bae. Hoomba, hoomba, hoomba. <laughs> you guys like girls, huh? But your wife won't probably let you read them, so you put these little heart covers on them. Huh? What do you have, five bucks? You have five bucks? Two bucks? All right, come on, beat it. What are you, a couple of dentists? Get out of here, beat it. Hey, holy, holy. <laughs> Hi, honey, look at this. Is that you? That's you. It looks just like you. How about an autograph? Hey, that's you, isn't it? Yo, white man. Hey, what are you guys doing? Guys, take a look. Is this not the same girl, huh? Look at that, same position. That is illegal. What, the position? I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. Why don't you try it this way, Jambo? I think look you better hose him down. It's all right. Watch. You were just going to tell us what you uh, found out about the shooting last night, weren't you? Wait. Look, man, all I know is they shot up the entire alley, OK? Even the rats got insurance. You know what I'm saying? Hey, any rats in particular? Not Mel Raymond, if that's what you guys mean. Because he's got insurance, right? What in the hell is that supposed to mean? They don't sit me down and explain it to me, OK? I just hear what I happen to hear. And from what I hear, he's got plans to be out real soon. You know what I'm saying? plans? Hey, look, man, the people that work for him, what's left of them are walking around with a smile because they know he's got it wired. Keep in touch, huh? And uh, see if you can get a line on Gil Flowers' main squeeze for us. Hey, uh, planning to make a little time while he's in the hospital, Jefferson? What if, huh? All you gotta do is make sure that we hear whatever it is you hear, okay, Whitey? Oh, okay. But I'll tell you right now, you may not like to hear what I'm hearing, okay? I think he's talking to you, OB. Will you cut it with that crap? Hey, man, all I'm trying to say is I'm trying to find out why the junk walked, okay? Now, maybe not for nothing, your pal's pockets weren't so empty, huh? All right, whatever it is, it is. Yeah, right, yeah, I'm gonna try to remember it. Who is it? <clears throat> you don't know me, Mr. Naren. It's Jonathan Silva. Hi. Um. I don't need a lawyer. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know how you can be so sure of that, Mr. Naren. Or, uh, should I call you Officer Naren? What's this all about? Now, uh, hey, don't get me wrong. I am not soliciting clients, okay? Well, then why don't you get the hell no, out of here? Because I've already got a client, Mel Raymond. What? Where are you going? Why don't you get out of here before I have to go to the court and tell me here? Yeah. I don't think you want to do that, Jack. And uh, I don't think my client would want you to do that, and I don't think Gloria would. See, my client tells me you let the girl go. And I noticed your sworn statement. Um, well, it doesn't mention that. There's a preliminary hearing tomorrow, Jack. I, I'd give a lot of thought about my testimony. And, um, I'd also forget this meeting ever happened. You know, I never like to pry into a man's life. And whatever, whatever you and that girl worked out, uh, you don't want to throw it away now. Patrolman Jack Neron, uh, 
3013. And how long have you been a police officer? 22 years. During those 22 years, did you ever receive any citations for valor or meritus? This is just a hearing, Your Honor. He's quite right, Miss Jeffers. The court recognizes that Officer Naren is an experienced police officer. I'd like to take you back to last Tuesday night in the early evening. Could you tell us your whereabouts? I was having dinner at a Chinese restaurant in Duarte Street. Alone? Yeah, alone. Is this something you do often? Well, it's because, uh, well, my wife and she passed away. I see. In your own words, Officer Naren, could you tell us what happened during the course of that dinner? Well, uh, there was a gunshot from uh, behind the restaurant, so I ran through the kitchen. Did you tell anyone what you were doing? No, no, there wasn't time. I pull out my shield and my gun, and uh, I ended up midway in the alley, like halfway down the block. And what did you see? Well, I saw a bunch of men. Objection, Your Honor. I saw five men, Your Honor. Are you certain of that? Yeah, I'm certain of that. Proceed. Well, there was a lot of gunfire. I identified myself as a police officer, and the gunfire continued, so I shot back. Before you get beyond that point, Officer Naren, I'd like you to look around the room and tell me whether you recognize any of those five men you saw in the alley. Right there at that table to the right. Let the record show that Officer Naren identified the accused, Melvin A. Raymond. Thank you, Officer Naren. And could you tell us whether Mr. Raymond was one of the men firing a gun? The court is waiting, Officer Naren. Was Mr. Raymond one of the men firing a gun? I can't say for certain, Your Honor. You did say that you saw five men. It was dark. I had to run for cover. There was a lot of gunfire. I can't say uh, for sure who was shooting at who. It just happened so fast. May we approach the bench, Your Honor? Because I don't like to be made a fool of. Is that a good enough reason? Wait a minute, it's getting personal. It is personal. It's professional, it's a whole damn ball of wax. Why don't you calm down for a minute, Elaine? I am not in your department, Lieutenant, and you are not my boss. And I will calm down when I'm good and ready to calm down. All right. You were there, what do you think? I think it was dark. In the alley or in here? Elaine, you ever been in an alley at night with people shooting at you? And I've never perjured myself either, Kevin. I know it when I see Don't it. appoint yourself a judge. Oh, alleged. Alleged perjury. Is that better? You would have seen them, I get it, huh? I mean, you could have seen the shooters with all the bullets raining down on you. You don't think this smells? I think it smells in here. Kevin, how long are you going to protect this man? If I have to bust him, I will bust him. Until then, I am going to protect him. And I am going to put the pieces together on this one, what? Counselor. Who, you and all the king's horses? It ain't going to work, O'Brien. What's his problem, huh? Does he think he's the only guy who ever got upset about a wrong cop? I checked out his record. No big arrests, no big action. He went for the donuts, Jefferson. Yeah, we went for a lot more than that the other night, Lieutenant. He was a family man. He punched in, he punched out. For 23 years, he played it safe. Then all of a sudden, one night, he, he finds everybody shooting at him. You're surprised he can't get it straight? I'm not. So what, that's the answer? Till we find out something different? Oh, uh, come on, Lieutenant. Right now, it looks to me like me and the lady here are the only ones looking around in You seem to forget one thing. Who wears the lieutenant's bars in this room? You forget that again, Jefferson. You'll be wearing a uniform so fast your buttons will be busted. Yo, I'll be sure to remember that, Lieutenant. You want to look into this? You look into it all you want. Just remember one thing. There's other cops working on this case. Cops who haven't made up their mind yet about who's guilty and who's innocent. Frankie, give them all the cooperation you can on this. Yeah, yeah, who's there? Here. Come on. I 
kitchen. Ah, no. Okay, how bad did I blow it? Pretty bad. You gonna let that guy Raymond out? I already did. Somebody got to me. Is that what they're thinking? Now they're asking, they're not thinking, wouldn't you ask? Well, I'm not investigating this, Kevin. I am. You know, there's two things that bother me, you know? We went through this already, and I thought we were supposed to be friends. We are friends. Oh, yeah, I can see how much that uh, counts for you. Jack, that is not an answer. The fact that I've known you for 20 years, that doesn't count either. Answers, Jack, not 20 year ago answers, two nights ago. You want a beer? No. You're getting all the answers I got. You either know me or you don't, Kevin. I did. People change. You son of a bitch. Go ahead, you ask your questions and you get the hell out of my house. All right, you didn't see the girl, you didn't see Raymond with the gun. What in the hell did you see? I saw myself getting shot, I panicked. They could have drove a truck through that alley, I wouldn't have seen it. Not the kind of cop you are, Kevin. That's all. Yeah, that's all. It took me 23 years to figure out I'm not a hero, isn't that enough? I used to want to be the kind of cop you are. But they're pressures. Wife, kids. Gotta make a choice. Can't be a husband and a father and be the kind of cop you are, can you, Kevin? Some guys can. I couldn't. So I took all the day tours I could. I stayed close to the uniform. I played it safe, and I went for the pension. Dead. What about Susan? I, I never hear from her. Is that enough of an answer for you, Kevin? I got my integrity. Hmm? But what price is on that when there's nothing you want to buy? I am not saying it was the money, Jack. Was it the girl? There was no girl. Were you in love with her? I was in love with my wife and my daughter. Jack, the girl in the alley. I would have sold my shield for them. I would have sold my shield for them if I knew it could help me to hold on to them for a minute. Jack, why aren't you answering me, damn it? Answer me! I am answering you! I don't have any answers. Go on, look at this place. Look at me! What do we got? I got... I got my integrity. Yeah, I got my damn integrity. Don't you take it away from me. There's no girl, Kevin. And don't you ever come back here again. Understand me? Like that. Maybe you should have thought of that before you flushed it down the toilet. Hey, you could have been killed in that alley. And you probably would have been. Don't worry about it. They would never connect me to you.
heard you got out. What do you hear about flowers? He's still in the hospital. And his girl? I don't take care of his social life. That bitch took something that's mine. Her name's Gloria. She dances at a club over on 12th. Good. I like your sense of priorities. Think this guy will tell us anything we want to hear? Yeah. Right, we just need a few minutes with him. I'm finished. Don't take all night. Thanks. Take terrific care of you here, don't they? I'm as good as we ask him to be. My lawyer tells me that Raymond got out. That's right. Some people are smarter than others. You're trying to tell me that Mel Raymond rolled over? He's out, isn't he? <laughs> you guys internal affairs? Why? Because if Raymond cut himself a deal, and you're talking to me, the only one I can give you is the cop. Yeah, well, let's start with the girl. That's what I'm saying. The cop and his kid, his pretty little darling daughter. Are you saying that girl in the alley with you was Susan Marin? If you say so. Little cokehead calls herself Gloria now. So how in the hell did you know that he was her father? She told me an old man was a cop. She told me a lot about him. He didn't identify himself, but uh, <laughs> I kind of figured it out for myself. Where is she now? She works at a strip club over by 12th Street. Does Raymond know this? She took his stuff. I imagine he'll find out. Who is it? It's Raymond. We gotta talk, kid. We don't have anything to talk about. Oh, don't be so hard on me, honey. Your boyfriend will be out of commission for a while. Think we ought to be friends. What do you say? What place you got here? What do you want? That ain't you, man. I'll tell you that, I want what's mine. Lena, you better talk to me. Get your hands up. Last time and the last time and the last time. I'll get off it! Please, Daddy, don't turn me in. Please, Daddy, don't turn me in. No, no. The police will be coming. Come on. You want me to leave you here, do you? Come on. Mid-South, this is Unit 1209. We need an ambulance. Maybe. Nah, not for a kid like that. For any kid. He was gonna straighten her out? I guess that's what he had to believe. You know what happens, Frankie? They remember the kid before they got on the dope. 
That's what he saw when he looked at her. That's what he wanted to believe. You got uh, people out there looking for them? Oh, they'll all be out there. Let's hope he's got enough good sense. O'Brien. You remember my daughter, Susan? Susan wants to make a statement. You want to come on over here, Susan? The name's Gloria. All right. You want to come on over here? We'll put it down on paper. Come on. Check the seat. They found no Raymond. You think they'll let me put my papers in? I don't think so, Jack. We'll both do time, won't we? Great to be seen. Yeah. Lieutenant, do you mind if uh, I hand these into my own command? Sure, that'd be fine. Freddy, uh, call the captain downstairs and uh, tell him that uh, Jack's on his way down. Yes, sir. I tried to tell you. Come on. Yeah, I know you did. Susan. One night, Jack Naren seemed to be a hero. That's the way I wanted to write about him. There's no way I can write that story now. They say sacrifice is what makes heroes. Well, Jack Naren sacrificed everything for a child he loved. But it was a bad bargain. For what has a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? I was going to get myself straight. I told him that. It was my fault. He didn't do that for me. He didn't shoot himself on account of me. Yes, he did. Only you just weren't worth it. That's all. shot the other day, then we'd all be crying for it. Doesn't make any sense, does it? No, it doesn't. None at all. None at all. And I feel the love.